Hi girls, so today we're gonna do this mani here. I call it the sexy houndstooth mani. So I have a sample right here that I did. Now this one here I did with a gel, um, true gel, easy flow true gel, polish color. Um, I did a light pink here with ASP and I did uh, gel polish. And then, and you can use any sheer pink that you want to, whatever you like for your French manicures. And then the color down here, I used this one here by True Gel. It's called Nonsense. I love this color. Um, but on this one, I did polish, just so for, for you girls that like to use polish. And I used OPI. I used one coat of the dark one and then one coat of the light one over it to make this color. And it matched almost perfectly to the gel one. So. I will put that all of that in the information box. Um, so to save a little bit of time, I went ahead and put the colors on here. Um, and so, you know, just like you do a French, but you're doing the, you know, that kind of lavendery pink, um, you know, on the bottom. So anyway, so what I used first is I wanted to use a lace border. I'm using this one right here. And this is by Q Girl, and it's 017. But, you know, any lace border that you have, you could use. So whatever you like to use for this. And then the next thing I used was Lena's um, plate, and it's Dress Your Nails 01. And I'm using this for my hound's tooth. So let's go ahead and get started. And I just used black. Really simple, really easy and quick. And I'm using my Clear Jelly Big Bling Stamper. So let's get going. And I'm using Bundle Monsters Black, straight up black. So, so first, I'm just gonna put on the lace part. And so, we're just stamping this. We're gonna stamp this. So I'm just gonna get the black, you know, stamping polish on there. And then scrape and roll. And I'm gonna get off the part I don't need on the on here with this little my bundle monster scraper. But you could do it with any scraper. So this is how it looks um, before I put it on. And so I'm just gonna put that right a little above the line. So it's gonna be, let me see if I can do it so you can actually see while I do it. So let me see it this way first. Okay. So you just center it how you want it, and then just carefully kind of roll it from one side to the next. See, easy, really easy, really quick. And even that way is pretty actually, you know, by itself. But I wanted to add the hound's tooth just for kind of a fun twist on, you know, the fall winter kind of stuff. So let me use my little roller there and get that off. And then next we're gonna do the hound's tooth. So get this out of the way for a minute. And we're gonna do, like I said, it's gonna be this bottom one right here. So let's go ahead and just get our stamping polish. Actually, you can kind of eye it if you're good at it and figure out about how many rows. So I think I'm just gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna eye it and do about, then you're saving a little bit on your, you know, stamping polish too. Okay. So now this one I know I got some above. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off so that it's even because I don't want it to not be even when I, there, see? So now I'm just gonna put it, you know, right there on the edge of that bottom of the lace. So let me see if I can do it so you can see me. So let me line it up first, look through here, kind of line it. Okay, and then press and just kind of gently roll from side to side. And there you go, see how easy that is? And it looks, it's so adorable. I just love it. It's just kind of a fun take on the hound's tooth. So then now I would just let it dry for a minute. If you're gonna do gel polish, um, you know, then you can do that right now to seal it. If you're using the regular polishes, um, then I would use uh, my Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat because it hasn't failed me yet. Um, and I would do that, which I think is what I'm going to do for you right here. So um, I might want to blow dry this just a little bit to be a little bit on the safer side since it is black. 
which is one of the easiest ones, you know, if they're going to smear. It's usually that one. Okay, so we're just going to get, you know, just a regular amount of the top coat and just kind of swipe down. I'm not going all the way up because I'm just doing a sample nail for you. But see, no smudges. Works great, works perfect. So thank you so much. Um, please click on like and the bell icon so they'll send you, you know, a notice when on my next new video, which will be really soon. So thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.